Amid their challenges adapting to a Hollywood lifestyle, Meghan Markle's parting words prior to her and Prince Harry's contentious departure from the royal family have resurfaced. In March of the same year, the Sussexes relocated to Canada after stepping down as senior members of the institution in January 2020, after acquiring their current residence in Montecito, California in August 2020. The couple subsequently relocated to the United States. During her last day as a working member of the royal family, Meghan emotionally confided in journalist Omid Scobie. It didn't have to be this way. Following the Sussex's permanent departure from the UK, Scobie, in his article for Harper's Bazaar, disclosed the specifics of his conversation with the former suit star. Omid Scobie, British writer, said, the tears that the Duchess had been bravely holding back were free to flow among familiar faces. The Duchess of Sussex emotionally bid much loved aides farewell with her flight home, to Canada leaving in a matter of hours. Meghan would fly back to Canada on the last commercial flight of the day, eager to be back in Vancouver Island by the morning before her son, Archie, wakes up. To say Harry and Mark were crushed is an understatement. It's a decision that the couple still feel wasn't necessary, but also wasn't a surprise, given the lack of support they received. Throughout the year, the Sussexes have consistently emphasized that their decision to relocate to the US was prompted by a perceived lack of support from other members of the royal family. During their interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021, the couple made the allegation that a member of the British monarchy had expressed concerns about the potential darkness of their son Archie's skin. This astounding interview was soon followed by a series of projects, including a Netflix documentary, where they delved into their experiences and challenges within the royal institution. This year, Harry published his memoir titled Spare, in which he provided additional insights into the issues he had encountered within his family. Within the pages of his book, the Duke of Sussex asserted that Prince William had engaged in physical aggression towards him and had characterized Meghan as difficult, rude, and abrasive. According to a Newsweek report in September, the Sussexes initially experienced success during their time in Montecito but their popularity has since declined significantly. As reported by The Independent in June, Spotify terminated its multi-million podcast deal with Meghan after her show failed to attract a sufficiently large audience. Media reports indicate that the couple is presently collaborating with Netflix on another documentary project, focusing on their humanitarian endeavors in Africa. Stop. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from LMT Infinite Channel. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.